All right, I'm Nick out in the backyard. Behind me, we have the Old Town Sportsman Big Water 132 PDL, an absolute mouthful. They should have just like named it Predator PDL in different colors. Would be like the same length, fit the same stuff on the brochure. It is the same kayak, all right? There are a few minor differences. I'm gonna go over them right now, then I'll do a quick walkthrough. If you haven't seen our 2020 walkthrough of the Predator PDL, I'll put a link up here, pop across the top. Click that, go watch it for an in-depth look at this kayak. The only differences are this logo, the graphics, says Sportsman on it and has a fancy fishing hook over there. Look out, it has two barbs, better watch out. It comes with a tackle box that has that same logo on it. That tackle box is not waterproof, it's very simple. Put a photo of it right here somewhere, okay? And then the seat, everyone said they upgraded the seat. They did not upgrade the seat. It is made from a breathable material but it is not an upgrade. So we have a 2018 in the, in the garage and a 2020 Predator PDL. The thickness on the padding, about the same. It can't be any kind of different, right? The material is breathable, but that's the same material that was used on a Malibu PDL, an Ocean Kayak Malibu PDL back in like 2018. The difference is this seat doesn't have a bag on the back of it. And this kayak does not come with scupper plugs. Outside of that, front to rear, it is the same as a Predator PDL. Pretty simple stuff. We'll move the camera, we'll go from front to rear. I'll give you a quick generic walkthrough, but if you want a detailed walkthrough, click the other video, go watch it. Same thing, different seat, different graphics, no scuppers, comes with a simple tackle box. All right, let's move the camera. All right, now I mentioned in the past in some videos they used the same exact mold to make this kayak and they did it is pretty obvious. There's actually a square right here where you can see the old graphics placard go. It should say Predator PDL right here, and it doesn't, which I'm just going to tell you it's kind of tacky, right? Like you're looking at a pretty expensive kayak, and they, I don't know, silly, right? We'll just we'll move on. But same mold, same kayak. Same molded in place front handle, same design, same front hatch. There's a battery bag inside, which is nice. Has these two mounting plates up here. Same pedal system, rectangular hatch they put out there. Came out in July, 2019 at ICAST. It is nice, it is waterproof. A big upgrade from the circular hatch. Uh, I know a lot of you guys saw marketing videos earlier in photos where these mounting plates were actually orange in the videos and the photos, they're not orange, it comes in black. It does have the C deck inside, which we went over all this stuff in detail in that video I talked about. Super simple, nothing has changed. Different colors, right? This is the photic color and it comes in an orange color, which is ember. I imagine come, this is kind of a weird year because of coronavirus, but usually about ICAST, July, they release these colors in the rest, or they release more colors for the kayaks, right? Hasn't happened yet because everyone's behind, but I imagine they're gonna get rid of these two colors and put out three or four different colors, right? Now we're gonna move the camera again and come back over here. All right, now we're at the back of the kayak. Remember, same stuff, basically the same seat. We went over that, no bag on the back. These straps right here, they buckle in place, right? That is to hold your seat in place. Once you get the seat adjusted to forward or backwards for how tall you are, how short you are, then you can take these straps, tighten them down, and your seat won't go anywhere. After we started making a lot of parts for these things, I realized that a lot of people don't strap those seats down. If you don't strap that seat down and you flip the kayak over, now your seat is out here just flopping in the wind. Nobody wants that, okay? Strap your seat down. Bungee in the back, same mounting plates. You have the two rear-facing rod holders. You have that front-facing front -facing rod holder up there. You have the plastic rudder with the turnbuckles. You have the shallow water anchor area here that has the screws lined up for you already. Nothing to it. Plastic rudder, not a fan still. Has the pin. Make sure you put a bolt in there eventually or your steering will be very, very loose. This one's still brand new. And that's it. There's nothing to it. It's the same kayak, right? A few small differences that don't really make any difference to the end game. The scupper plugs aren't a big deal. Kind of sucks, you gotta pay like 45 bucks to get a new set of them. I don't use a couple of plugs anyways. A lot of times they just fill with sand because they're one-way valves, but then they'll fill with sand. Keep that in mind. You don't really need them. Some people like them, but this kayak sits very high and dry, so you don't gotta worry about water coming up through it. Simple stuff. That's just a quick walkthrough. Really, if you want a detailed walkthrough, go watch the other video. 
same kayak, nothing really different. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section. The next video we do is gonna talk about stability. There's been a ton of people talking about how this kayak is not stable. And it's really funny to watch because I, I read some, read some comments earlier and there's some people who have no idea what they're talking about saying the kayak's not stable. So we're gonna squash that. All right, thanks for watching. All right, I'm Nick, we're out in the backyard. Behind me, I have the 2020 Old Town Sportsman Predator. It's not a Predator, it's the Old Town Sportsman Big Water PDL. That shit's confusing, restart.